Good morning, student. I am Manju Supa from Kama Kingdom Smart Education. Today, I am going to teach you mathematics of first class, and the topic is addition up to twenty. In this chapter. we are going to learn about introduction to addition addition on number line addition by counting forward vertical addition horizontal addition story sum and the last one is properties of addition now we are going to learn about introduction to addition addition means combining two or more things together and finding how many in all dear student look at the second line the symbol which is used for addition is written in red color we read the symbol as plus for example while combining three star with two star we get five star in all that means when 2 and 3 are combined or added it is equal to 5 5 is called the sum or total of 2 and 3 okay now we are going to watch one video to know more about addition now we will see one video clip of addition Here comes one and behind him one more and children 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 Here comes a lady's finger she looks very cheerful Here come two more are they going shopping So you understand 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 Ah, one flower. Oh, three more flowers. Children, one plus three is equal to four. See a wonderful sight. One cat driving a car. Oh, there are four more. That's good. One plus four is equal to five. Here come two elephants. Look, two more friends have joined them. So now there are four elephants. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. It's party time. Two carrots are playing guitars. Now four more carrots have joined them. Children, now there are six carrots enjoying the music. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Two chilies are wearing sunglasses. Now, six more chilies are wearing them. So, you understand. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. Two cabbages are waiting. They look shy. Here come their eight friends. Oh my goodness. There are 10 cabbages now. 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. Three kingfishers are sitting together. Look, three more kingfishers are sitting with them. That means 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Four dolls are dancing. Here come four more dolls. They are all dancing. Eight of them are dancing together. Four plus four is equal to eight. Wow! Five beautiful butterflies. Look now, five more butterflies. So, children. 
there are now 10 beautiful butterflies. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I think you all must have understood addition well through this video. Okay? Student, now we are going to move to another topic. Now we are going to learn addition on number line. Let us add 2 and 5 using number line. Start jumping to the first letter. Here it is 2. From that number jumps 5 step forward. We reach at 7 after taking 5 step forward from 2. So 2 plus 5 equals to 7. Dear student, look at this picture on the screen. The frog is jumping from 2 to taking 5 step forward and he reads at 7. It means same. 2 plus 5 equals to 7. Now we are going to learn how to do addition on number line through this video. Two plus three. Two plus three. The frog starts at two. The frog and then starts moves at two. three places to the right. And then moves three places to the right. The frog lands on five. The frog lands so on five. So two plus three equals so two five. Plus three equals five. Three plus five. Three plus five. The frog starts at three. The frog and then moves three five places to the right. Five places to the right. The frog lands on eight. The frog lands so on eight. Three plus five so equals eight. Three plus five equals eight. Six plus three. Six plus three. The frog starts at six. The frog starts and then moves at six. three places to the right. And then moves three places to the right. The frog lands on nine, so the frog six lands on nine. plus three so equals six nine. Plus three equals nine. Okay, I think you all have must understood how to do addition on number line well through this video. Okay, student. Now, after learning addition on number line, we are moving to another topic that is addition by counting forward. We can also add by counting forward. Consider the number 12 and 3 and add. To add, we we'll start from 12 and move forward 3 steps. That means 13. 14 and 15. We read at 15. It means 12 plus 3 equals to 15. Okay, let's add by counting forward through this video clip. Okay. Count forward and add. 8 plus 6 is equal to. Now, Count children, that would be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 8 plus 6 is equal to 14. 7 plus 9. Well, that would be. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16. So 7 plus 9 is 16. 12 plus 5. Now 12 plus 5 is equal to 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 12 plus 5 is equal to 17. 15 plus 4. 15 plus 4 is equal to 16, 17, 18, 19. 15 plus 4 is equal to 19. 22 plus 5. Now 22 plus 5 is equal to 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 22 plus 5 is equal to 27. 72 plus 3. 72 plus 3 would be 73, 74, 75. So, 72 plus 3 is equal to 75. 87 plus 4. 87 plus 4 is equal to 88, 89, 90, 91. So, 87 plus 4 is equal to 91. 25 plus 4. 25 plus 7. Now, 25 plus 7 is equal to 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So, 25 plus 7 is equal to 32. 37 plus 8. 37 plus 8 is equal to 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So, 37 plus 8 is equal to 45. Now, 38 plus 9. Can you try it yourself? You are right. It is 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. So, 38 plus 9 is equal to 47. How about 41 plus 3? 41 plus 3 would be 42, 43, 44. So, 41 plus 3 is 44. 22 plus 6. Now, 22 plus 6 would be 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Now, 22 plus 6 is 28. 64 plus 8. Can you make a guess? Yes, it is 65. 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. So, 64 plus 8 is equal to 72. Now, last is 19 plus 5. 19 plus 5 would be 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So, 19 plus 5 is 24. Addition by counting forward. Kids, look at the table of 100. Now, let us find out what is 12 plus 7. 
put your finger on the number 12. After 12, count 7 more boxes in the same column. Which number do you get? You're right, it is 19. So 12 plus 7 is equal to 19. Now let us find the answer of 29 plus 5. In the table, after 29, count 5 more boxes in the same and the next column. Write the number in the box. Yes, it is 34. So 29 plus 5 is equal to 34. I think you, ha you all have must understand or learned how to do addition by counting forward through this video. Okay. After learning how to do addition by counting forward, we are going to learn vertical addition. We can also add numbers by arranging them vertically. For example, add 2 and 3. Just student, please look at the screen. The step 1 is arrange the number vertically like how I do on the screen. See, draw the same number of sticks as the number. Draw the same number of sticks as the number. Like how I do on the screen. See? And step 3. Count the total number of sticks. See? Look at the screen. Count the total number of sticks. That means 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It means 5. That means 2 plus 3 is equals to 5. Addition Now we will see addition. one video clip of this particular list. addition. Total or sum of two or more numbers together. Let us look at an example. Here we see two fish in the first fish bowl and five fish in the second fish bowl. How many fish are there all together? Let's count them. We are actually adding number two to number five. That is two plus five which is equal to seven. The plus sign is the symbol that denotes addition operation and the answer obtained is called the sum. Similarly, the sum of 3 birds and 6 birds is 3 plus 6 which is equal to 9 birds in all. After learning vertical addition, we are going to learn horizontal addition. We can also add numbers by arranging them horizontally. For example, we will add 3 and 4. Step 1. Arrange the number horizontally. Step 1. Look at the screen, dear student. See how I arrange the number in horizontal line. See? 4 plus 3. Step 2. Draw the same number of stick. Draw the same number of stick and count the stick. Count the stick. How much in all? 
1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that means 7 it means 4 plus 3 is equals to 7 okay student now we are going to see one video clip of horizontal addition so now let's see how we add 2 on this first problem we have 4 plus 2 so think in your head what is two numbers after 4 the first number after 4 is 5 the second number after 4 is 6 so two numbers after 4 is 6 that means 4 plus 2 is 6 now let's practice with the second problem. Here we have 9 plus 2. So once again, think in your head, what is two numbers after 9? Two numbers after 9 is 11. So that means 9 plus 2 equals 11. Let's practice adding 2 on this drill page. So let's look at the first few. We have 0 plus 2. Two numbers after 0 is 2. So 0 plus 2 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3, two numbers after 1. Alright, let's practice one more. 2 plus 2 is 4, because two numbers after 2 is 4. Notice that on this page, the questions go in order to help you learn and memorize your facts. Let's look at a few more drill problems. Here we have 2 plus 1 and 1 plus 2. So, 2 plus 1, one number Times after 2 is 5 3. Plus 2 okay, so let's look at the next one, 1 plus 2. Seven. Two numbers after 1 Answer is also 3. Is With seven. these two problems, you'll notice that the same numbers one make the same answers. Eight. Meaning, if you change the order of the numbers you are adding, the sum, or the answer, stays the same. So here we're counting with pictures. In this first Times problem, up. we're going to see how one many birds there are in all. Let's look at our two groups. We have a group of four and then a group of two. So we're adding four and two. So four plus two is six. Here we're adding the two boxes together on the left to get the solution that will go in the box on the right. So in this problem we have six and two. What is six plus two? It's eight. Seven. Let's practice this on another problem. Here we have a number on the left and the solution on the right. So on this problem, we need to figure out 8 plus what equals 10. Think in your head, 8 plus what equals 10? 8 plus 2 equals 10. So 2 is the answer to this problem. Now let's work on adding with double digit numbers. So on this first one, we have 1 plus 2. Two numbers after one Plus is three. Two. So Pick then, one. let's look at the one beneath that. We have 11 plus two. Well, 11 is 10 more than one. So 11 plus two Time is stop. going to be 10 more Six. than one plus two. Plus two. So 11 Pick plus one. two is 13, eight. which is 10 more than three. Answer is eight. Let's practice this one, one more time. Plus Here we have four three. plus two. Equals. Four plus two is six. So then, we have 14 plus 2. 14 is 10 more than 4, meaning the answer Time's of 14 up. plus 2 is going to One be 10 more than plus 4 three. plus 2. Equals so, 14 plus 2 is four. 16, the 10 more than 6. Four. Now let's look at the drill page for these problems. Zero First we have plus 0 One plus 2. Equals 0 plus 2 is 2. So then, 10 plus 2 is going to be 10 more than that. So 10 plus 2 is... 12. Time's up. Alright, so let's Zero go on to the next one. Plus 1 plus 2 one is 3. So 11 one. plus 2 is 10 Answer more than that and is 13. Is one. You'll notice on this page that the problems go in Four. order. This will plus help you learn and memorize your math facts. Equals. Addition in a horizontal line. Let us now use dots to add numbers horizontally. Look at the screen. There are two dots on the left and four dots on the right. What is two plus four? Count the total number of dots on the screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Therefore, 2 plus 4 is 6. What is 3 plus 5? Count the dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 3 plus 5 is 8. Now we are going to learn a story sum. A word problem is like a story. We have to read it carefully to understand what it say and then do the addition of the number to find the sum. Some of the words we can see in the word problem related to additions are total, all together, plus, in all or sum. All it means same. Now we are going to see one example of story sum. Everyone, your student, please look at the screen. Gita has two pencils. Lata has three pencils. How many pencils are there in all? How many pencils they both have? It means you have to add the pencil of Lata and Gita together. It means 2 plus 3 which is equals to 5. Right? It means there are 5 pencils in all. This is an example of story sum. Now student, we are going to see one video clip of story sum or addition story. Addition. Properties of addition. Add the first properties of addition is adding zero. When zero is added to a number, the answer is always the same number. For example, see. Look at the picture on the screen, dear student. See. Three apples plus zero apples, which is equals to three. How? Because when 0 is added to a number, the answer is always the same number. That means 3 apples plus 0 equals to 3 apples. Right? Good day kids. Good day ma'am. Today we will learn about addition with 0. Let's see what Madam Giraffe and Miss Caterpillar are up to. Miss Caterpillar has four muffins. One, two, three, four. Madam Giraffe has brought no muffins. Together, 
They have four muffins. One, two, three, four. Did you understand? Zero means nothing. A number does not change if we add zero to it. Did you understand? Great. Now let's see another example. Five plus zero is equal to five. One, two, three, four, five. Three plus zero is equal to three. One, two, three. Two plus zero is equal to two. One, two. Hi kids, how are you today? Great. Let's do something fun. Let's open two fingers of right hand, make a fist with left hand with no finger open. Now add how many fingers are open in both the hands. Two. Right? Ha ha ha. Did you enjoy? Yes. Bye kids. Have a great day. See you soon. Now we are going to see one video of adding one to a number. Two monkeys in a tree plus one more equals three. Two monkeys in a tree one plus one two, more three equals three. Three and having a picnic one plus one two, more. The third properties of addition is order in addition. That means when we add numbers, even if their order is changed, the answer remains the same. For example, see the picture on the screen 3 plus 4 equals to 7. 3 teddy bear plus 4 teddy bear which is equals to 7 teddy bear. In second picture, see the order has been changed. That means 4 teddy bear plus 3 teddy bear which is equal to 7 teddy bear because when we add numbers even if their order is changed the answer remains the same now we are going to see one video clip of order in addition Look, there are frogs sitting on the yellow and orange stones in the pond. Let us understand order property with the help of them. There are two frogs on the yellow stones. There are three frogs on the orange stones. How many frogs are there altogether? 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 
Look, the frogs jump and change their positions. Now, there are three frogs on the yellow stones and two frogs on the orange stones. How many frogs are there in all? Three plus two is equal to five. So, what did we learn? Changing the order of the addends does not change the sum. That is, two plus three is equal to three plus two. They are called addition twins. Let us try it one more time. There are three frogs on the yellow stones. There is one frog on the orange stone. How many frogs are there in all? Three plus one is equal to four. Look, the frogs jumped and changed their positions again. Now, there is one frog on the yellow stone and three frogs on the orange stones. How many frogs are there in all? One plus three is equal to four. So, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 and 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Thus, we learn the order property that changing the positions of the addends does not change the sums.